I'll never forget the day that Clean Marine contacted me, asked me to try a new product. I was a little bit unsure until I heard it was about hormones and hormone health. Now, I have experienced hormone fluctuations my entire life, but a supplement to help hormones I'd never heard of. I knew I needed it, so I decided to give it a go. And I honestly felt so much better in myself within a matter of weeks. Um, it's hard to describe how I felt. I felt balanced. I felt like me, the best me. Um, and I was kind of annoyed that I hadn't heard about hormone health up to this point. You know, I'm a journalist, I love reading, I love learning, and yet it's something that I never read about, and it's certainly something that I'd never spoken about. And yet I'd suffered in silence all the way through my teens, my 20s, and my 30s. Now, I have two daughters, and I don't want the same situation for them growing up. So it's important that we know that we need to look after ourselves, we need to educate ourselves. There is help, there is support out there, knowledge is key. So when they asked me to become an ambassador, I was delighted to become an ambassador for Clean Marine. And I've learned so much about hormone health over the last two years. And now I'm really excited that all of that information is in a book that they've put together with fantastic people across well-being, health and fitness, nutrition, mental health. It's called The Essential Guide to Female Hormones and it's available in all health stores and pharmacies for free or you can download it on cleanmarine.ie forward slash hormones. I'm going to meet some of the contributors today and I hope you find this very helpful. Do you mind sharing your own story with us and why you decided to start taking Clean Marine for women? Of course. So I started taking Clean Marine um, approximately six months after my second child. I um, found myself very tired, a bit overwhelmed. Um, I was running um, a new business. I run two businesses and this was my, um, my new venture, which I thought, you know, girls run the world, I can do this. Mm. Um, but my body was telling me differently. I was definitely tired. I was a bit weepy just wasn't myself and after about six to eight weeks I could notice differences in my energy levels I just felt myself again and I had definitely been lacking certain vitamins and minerals in my diet purely because looking after everybody else and not myself and I found that Clean Marine for Women supplemented my lifestyle and my diet um, at that stage and what a year and a half on still does. Clean Marine for Women contains vitamin B1 and B6 which supports normal energy levels and that's where I feel that um, supplementing with Clean Marine has really helped with my energy levels definitely. <laughs> Do our activity levels affect our hormone health? 100% I mean it's something that I would I suppose scream at so many women that tell me you know oh, I can't I'm tired and I say well if you actually work out those endorphins are going to make you feel great they're going to you know get that heart pumping get the blood flowing and it's a set, I mean, they call it the runner's high, it's like a sense of euphoria, and that for me is why I work out, not just to, for the health benefits, but for the mental um, benefit of it. And I think with that headspace and the mentality of feeling good actually boosts you and gives you more energy, yes. um, 100%. How can women build activity into their daily routines to feel their best self throughout the month? Being active is actually quite simple. Yeah. And keep it simple if that's what you need. Yeah. If it's a case that you do love going to the gym, which I do, I can't get there every day, so I decide, right, I'm going to get there three times a week, and the other three days, I'm going to work out at home. And I'll do a 20 minute workout at home. And I will do it in front of the TV with the baby, watching Peppa Pig if I have to. <laughs> that's, <Yeah>. that's life. <laughs> Orla, what are your three pieces of advice for women who are maybe struggling to maintain their activity levels? Accept the help. So if you genuinely feel like you need to get out for a walk, you need to get out running, you need to, you need to be active, and you cannot find the time, Mm. ask a friend ask a neighbor can you just come in for half an hour or you know can someone take the baby for a walk or look after like you know ask for help and um, to plan I think I mean I used to plan kind of monthly you know when I'd no children to worry about now it's kind of like a day-to-day -day plan kind of run into a week-to-week -week plan but I do try to plan and be prepared and um, and three look after yourself as well as everybody else because we tend to look after everybody else and not ourselves so I think this year is the year for women to start really looking after themselves. Well, I know for me, it's my year to look after myself. 
Sarah, what is hormonal health and why is it so important for women? Yeah, hormone health, really, hormones are little chemical messengers and they send signals around the body to all of our cells. So they're really important. When they're not in balance, little things can happen like our energy can dip, maybe skin outbreaks, we can get that fluctuation and, and imbalance in our hormones. So really when our hormones are in sync, our body thrives. And what part does nutrition play in our hormonal health? Nutrition is a key role. It provides the raw ingredients really to make these hormones, so they're really important. When we're not getting these raw ingredients to make the hormones, we really can get these fluctuations and symptoms that, that are associated with them. So really the key is really good quality oils, B vitamins, vitamin D, these nutrients in our basic, really healthy, colourful diet that will, will help feed into healthy hormones and we just feel really, really good in ourselves. Does our hormone health affect our skin and our energy levels? Skin exposes the first, the outward reflection that we know something's going on in our system, that we, we have a little imbalance and we need to, to look at that and correct it. Vitamin B2 in particular, the riboflavin that you will find in your meats, in greens, particularly broccoli, your sprouts, um, eggs would be a really important one to help maintain healthy skin and these nutrients the vitamin b1 b2 and 6 that's found in clean marine for women are really important to help maintain energy yielding metabolism which is very helpful in our body as a nutritional therapist what is your key advice for maintaining our best hormone health find out more and there's really good information in the essential guide to female hormones that you can get in all your health food shops and pharmacies or download it online and it's got great information all the different nutrition stages that are tailored for each age group and what their needs will be fiona do our hormones affect our mental health absolutely lorraine there's a huge connection there there really is so when our hormones are out of balance we feel really out of balance we can feel irritable, we can feel overwhelmed, we can feel anxious. And it's about bringing that balance back by working with the body rather than against the body. So if someone is sort of feeling like, oh, I'm you know, fed up with this, it's uncomfortable, it's difficult, it's a case of actually embracing that and turning towards it through the power of the mind, through acceptance, through kindness to the self, you know, that it's okay that you feel like this, and then the breath is really important as well. I always talk about the breath with my clients. So the, the deeper you breathe right into your belly, the more that you calm down the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, but also the more you would sort of work with those hormones to calm them down and you feel so much more empowered. And I think that's what's really important for people is to feel that they're in control. How can we manage those hormonal feelings, you know, on those days where you're just having a hormonal day? Absolutely, yeah. I would say one of the most important things to, to really focus on is the breath, because the breath will actually calm down the hormones. If you breathe as deep as you can into your belly, you're sending a message of calmness. And that's what we need to feel when we feel hormonal. It's getting a sense of balance back. When we feel unbalanced, mm -hmm. we can feel that really overwhelming feeling so that's one thing I would say another thing I would say is really important is to be kind to yourself you know that's something that we can forget and to sort of make allowances for yourself you know to be if you do sort of are a little bit more irritable than you'd like with your husband or you know a little bit more tired or whatever it might be is that you just turn towards yourself and and show that kindness mm -hmm. and understand that this is okay it's going to pass and it always does pass and that's the really positive thing about it. You take Clean Marine for Women yourself, mm -hmm. how does it make you feel? It makes me feel so zen and I think it's because in Clean Marine for Women it contains vitamin B1 and B6 and that contributes to normal psychological function. So I feel more like me. You are the mental health expert in our essential guide to female hormones. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to be involved? But I jumped at the chance because I thought this is just such an important message that needs to get out there. And it's really, what's great about the guide is that it goes from all ages, from adolescence right up to menopause. Mm -hmm. And if we can get that message out there to young girls, just think of the difference that can make in terms of their whole life long, their general well-being, their ability to live, to be happy and to be free. I think it's just wonderful. So our hormones have an effect on everything we do, how we feel, how we look, our skin, our energy levels, our mental health, our physical health, our general well-being. 
we all need to know more about how we can improve our hormone health. We owe it to ourselves and to those around us. So do something for yourself today. Call into your local health store or pharmacy and pick up your free essential guide to female hormones or download it for free on cleanmarine.ie forward slash hormones and live your best life. It's that simple.